Hi there, Leo, Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your July 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, before anything else, again, this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to the rest of every Leo's out there. Just keep that in mind. For this month, I'm doing things a little bit of differently because I just want to do a very short video, concise wherein we really go straight to the point and because july is actually a very powerful and important month i'm i just want to focus on the energy that might be influencing you and me and everyone <laughs> in in this leo um leo sign for the month of july so we're focusing again on the energy that might be manifesting so that we know how we can nav best navigate the entire month so it's going to be like keywords and a little bit of information here and there so it's not going to be the usual reading that i do so um yeah um here we are seeing the first card that we have the three of wands the page of pentacles and the justice cards with all of these three cards in line this is giving me a feeling we're in this is the time we're in you know maybe there are certain plans and thoughts or goals that you want to manifest or want to bring into reality and maybe this is the time where and you need to work on that um, when it comes to it's very easy to 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 manifest this in terms of you know work and other important and personal things you know this could be a time we're in the things that you have been postponing this could be the time that you need to work on them you know you need to get serious with things because we do have the justice card this is about um, official news uh, official contracts and relationships and connections that we have with people when it comes to love though this can be a situation we're in maybe you know um maybe you were not in contact with someone before or some form of communication may might be foggy with that person or maybe there are uh, some information that you are keeping in yourself and you're not entirely expressing this to someone else you know it could be a relationship that has been stagnant for quite a while and you not you are now at the point wherein you want to get serious and you want to put a step forward you know so that the relationship goes somewhere and not just be stuck in in a certain scenario you know it could be a situation wherein you wanted to settle down that is a big possibility you know you're wanting some it's it's like you is someone it could be you it could be the other person or you are in a situation wherein you wanted to be more serious be more committed be more you know you want something to hold on to you wanted something more concrete something that is real you know something that you know you can say that is really yours so there is some form of energy into that and not to mention we do have here um mercury in the sign of leo in the third house so you know the reading is screaming leo out there and with this it could be that you know because the mercury in leo is like a very expressive very dramatic with communications as well so there could be tendencies that you need to you know have consistent communication with someone or the way you communicate can be very dramatic and it causes some form of you know problems let us not forget that we have the 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 mountain at the middle card here so which is you know the mountain is like a, a roadblock a problem or a situation that you need to overcome you know some form of adversity that you need to um to get past with so it could be that you know some form of communication is challenging you right now or some form of thoughts that you know um there there are some form of hard work and effort that needs to be done to actually um to put things together basically 
because we do have a lot of communication cards here we do have this the the three uh, diamonds over there which is all about promised contracts you know it could be that you know maybe the two of you have been planning something together you could be in a situation where in you have been planning something but you're not really entirely doing it there are a lot of confusions right here that is showing up so you could there could be something that you wanted to make it make clear you know you wanted to to finally um it's like you're wanting to remove all the fogs that is surrounding your mind right now and you wanted to really know where you stand so that is basically one of the energies in unfolding here there's a lot of confusion it's like yes you wanted change to happen yes you wanted to communicate your thoughts and your feelings but is it really going anywhere or is someone is just repeating the same things over and over to you and you're just believing them so this is a point where in you know um maybe you are going to enter a relationship or there is some form of important contract that is going to be manifesting for you um right now i kind of feel that you are at a state of confusion there's a lot of things that are confusing you maybe you don't even know if you are still in love with someone or not do you still want to be in this relationship or not maybe you are in a point wherein there is no commitment before and you are at the process of entering a commitment this is really how i'm seeing this it's going to be you know um you entering into a commitment and it might be um it's like you can tell yourself that you have encountered a lot you have dealt with a lot of problems but eventually you are going to get what you actually want so if you are at the point of your life or in a situation in a complicated situation basically um wherein you know you are always in con in connection with someone but nothing is really happening in that connection this can be a time wherein you need to talk to that person or you need to face some form of facts face some form of problems you guys might need to deal with it so it means that you know there is a possibility that you guys might argue but after that argument there is a chance that you know the two of you might actually do something that lets the that let you guys be together you know it's like it's like having an argument and then fighting about it and then after that making peace you know and then realizing that we are meant to be toge together there is that form of energy so some form of um, effort is going to be crucial you will find that the month of july is actually going to be very very active for you because it's a lot there's a lot of social events a lot of interaction and engagement between you and the other person all those kinds of things that is very much possible it will eventually give you a peace of mind and a new you know it will form a new beginning or a new chapter in a relationship and when it comes to um we, we our advice card we do have here the let it go and the omega card which is you know this is about a victory card wherein if there are problems in a situation yes sort it out but you don't have to keep bringing up the past into the plate you know there are just some times that a point of your life we're in you need to let things go so that new things can really come into it into the uh, into your life basic basically or if someone has faults or has hurt you in the past and you still want them in your life you can bring them into your life but you don't have to keep bringing up the problems that they have done towards you because that is just going to create more damage again and again so this is the time for you to you know just let things go and don't try to control yourself very much don't try to control the things that you're you, you're supposed to say you're gonna say don't go try to control what you feel just 
just release everything this is really what I, I i kind of feel here there's a lot of repressed energy going on here and you just have to let it go and just express everything you know what you truly feel and you might find out that you know that actually leads to some form of happy ending for you or at, at the very least you know something good will come about at the end of the day even though that um it can actually very dramatic and you know there's going to be a lot of tension in the air which is actually very possible there's going to be a lot of confusion a lot of tension but the goal here is for you guys to actually speak your mind and for the two of you to find out the truth of what each of you actually feel that kind of thing so in general this is a time we're in you know it's time to set things straight it's time to make things official this is not the time for games this this has a more serious energy and you know just take note that whatever happens to you within the month you know it has to be something that has a future with it because if it doesn't have a future there could be some repercussions or you might realize that this is not something that i would want to bring into my life anymore and you might just you know leave that behind you know this is a time for you to not carry baggages from the past but for you to move forward and have a better future in mind to plan ahead on what you really want what you really desire and you know take some form of first steps forward to work on it if there are things that are confusing you you know sometimes sometimes you know it takes a lot of time to actually get past it to to move on to actually forget things but staying staying at that zone of negativity staying at that zone of pessimistic or feeling feeling like a victim is not really going to get you anywhere you need to do something and i kind of feel that you know the events that are going to be unfolding for a lot of leos out there um you know if you are stuck or stagnant this is a time we're in there is some form of illumination that is going to come in it could be a news it could be with someone um telling you something um there is going to be something that comes up within the month of july that opens up a path pathway that allows you to move forward and you just have to go and grab that so but i would say that in communications right now is going to be very important to you and um you also need to i would say to learn how to listen and not just be the one to do the talking remember we do have mercury in the sign of lee on the third house and it likes to express but sometimes it doesn't listen not very much so yes express your thoughts express what you feel but also take a learn take a moment to listen to other people on what they truly feel as well that way there will be more positive communication and there is more harmony in the air and there will be more positive alignments in the relationship and again if you're single and if you're not in a relationship this could be a situation we're in you know it's time for you to to do something in your life it's time to go out there and maybe do some form of work or you know to connect to people because i do see that communication and connecting to people is going to be very big for you and you know and I kind of feel that it's going to be very uplifting and there is a positive alignment for you at the end of the day if you choose to socialize again to connect to people again to talk to people again there's going to be some form of gift at the end of the day not really not necessarily gift but it's more of um uh it's like there's going to be some form of seed or fruit that will be happening at the end that allows you to feel and tell yourself that hey it's okay you know the things that has happened to me they are all over because at least i have found some form of of peace at the end 
of this cycle. Something is really going to stir up your curiosity, that feeling of fun to you. It's go. It's all going to come back. And but again, this is not about fun and games. This is about you getting serious with life. So and that is going to be the very much theme for July. So it's not about you just wishing for things to happen. This is about you acting on it and actually making a connection with someone. So that is really going to be big. Con connecting with someone and communication is going to be a very big theme for a lot of you guys. So if you have been feeling stuck and if you feel that you are being blocked, this could be the time wherein those are being slowly released and you know connecting to someone is actually going to be something that you are going to be receiving during this time so um yeah this is my reading for you guys leo leo sun moon and rising sign and i'll see you guys again next month